Good evening. I'm Dr. Jane D. Goyer, Associate Dean of Graduate Nursing, and I would like to extend a warm greeting to President Henry and the Cabinet. And a warm welcome to our students, faculty, family, and friends, along with those joining us via live stream. On behalf of Mercy College, we are honored to celebrate with you, our nursing students, on this significant milestone in your nursing career. The pinning ceremony for nurses has strong meaning, as the pin itself represents the time and effort put into learning the content, working in the clinical areas, and serving our community. Our future nurses will be wearing this pin to always remember their time spent with us here at Mercy College of Health Sciences, and also to remember why they've decided to become a nurse and to continue to uphold the servant's attitude for each patient that they encounter. It's with great pride that I welcome you all to the Mercy College of Health Sciences Summer 2023 Nursing Pinning Ceremony. Students, this is your time. You are being honored for the successful completion of a major part of your education as professional nurses. May this recognition you receive today serve as motivation to continue striving towards excellence. May each of you take the spirit of this celebration with you and continue to make a positive impact in our communities and beyond. Thank you. And now, Bo Bonner will provide a reflection for us. Good evening. Learning is quite a peculiar thing. Few transformations are as profound as learning a profession. And yet, aside from maybe looking tired from late night study, there's no physical change in us. Thank goodness our heads do not literally swell with the knowledge you've just received. Hats would be a difficult affair. And despite our technological advances, there is no brain scan sophisticated enough to perceive this revolutionary change, students, that you have just gone through. The founder of the Sisters of Mercy, Venerable Catherine McCauley, captures this well. She says, how quietly the great God does all his mighty works. Darkness is spread over us, and light breaks in again, and there is no noise of drawing curtains or closing shutters. For Catherine, the best things in life, love, mercy, wisdom, are often not accompanied with the world stopping to note their miraculous occurrence. How often have we experienced a eureka moment only to be surprised to find the world keep on moving as before? Part of why we are here today is to stop the world for just a brief time and note the amazing things you have accomplished but also to admit there will always be a hidden element to extending what our vision calls the healing ministry, carried forth from the heritage of the sisters. That's why you have to be devoted to make this ministry work, just as our Vodacoins say. And so today, we want to honor you, celebrate you, and consecrate you, devote you to the glorious works of mercy we know that you will all live out in the world, making us proud to know that we had a small part in the great work that you are doing. So if you're so inclined, please join me for the adapted consecration of the Sisters of Mercy. O oh, compassionate God, look on us today with tenderness and give us the grace to walk on the path of mercy, marked out for those who follow you. May all we do today reflect your merciful love. Amen. Thank you very much. Good evening. I'm Kristen Bryan Wessel, and I'm the Dean of Nursing for Mercy College. Dr. Henry and the Cabinet, our Mercy College board members who are present this evening, faculty, students, and guests, it is my honor to introduce our esteemed guest speaker for tonight's pinning ceremony. 
With a journey deeply intertwined with Mercy College, she brings a wealth of experience and, in and in inspiration to our event. A dedicated member of the Mercy College board for a year, she has demonstrated a commitment to the institution's growth and progress. A true Mercy College alumna, she walked our halls, halls throughout 1988 to 1990, and again 2003 to 2005, embodying the spirit of lifelong learning. Her educational path is a testament to her passion for healthcare and education, spanning across institutions like Mercy School of Nursing, Mercy College of Health Sciences, and the University of St. Francis. Her dedication to nursing started early, a decision she made in her high school years, which has led to an illustrious 33-year career as a nurse. Her achievements shine brightly. Having achieved the pinnacle of academic success by graduating uh, summa cum laude with her bachelor's of science in nursing degree while raising her children. Her journey from a dedicated nurse to the CEO of her hometown hospital in Perry, Iowa, showcases her unwavering determination and leadership acumen. It is an honor to have someone of such stature and character among us today. Please join me in welcoming a true exemplar of dedication, achievement, and community impact. Our guest speaker and proud Mercy College alumna, Angela Mortoza. Thank you. Hello, graduates. It's truly a privilege to be standing in front of this beautiful future of healthcare. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. And to the loved ones in the audience and to our faculty, thank you for supporting these future nursing students throughout their educational journey. Today, I stand before you, and it's wonderful to see a new group of future nurses joining this awesome and, I may say, ever-changing profession. You have put so much time and effort into your education that I would, thought it would be fun to play maybe a little game. It's called, What Type of Nurse Am I? I'll give a quick description of what this nurse may do in their day-to-day -day activities, and feel free to share if you know what it is. And if not, don't worry, I'll give you the answer. I'm a nurse who provides instruction and guidance to nursing students. What type of nurse am I? I'm a nursing instructor. I specialize in providing care to cancer patients of all stages of the treatment process. What type of nurse am I? An oncology nurse. My career will be focused around providing in-home care to patients. What type of nurse am I? Thank you. My primary role is to assist with the delivery of newborn babies and see the mothers through the process of childbirth safely. What type of nurse am I? Yes, thank you. It never ceases to amaze me how many types of nurses there are, plus many more specialties. As nurses, we truly help keep our healthcare boat afloat through an array of wonderful opportunities. My education did start at Mercy School of Nursing where I received my ASN. I then went on and changed to Mercy College of Health Sciences in 1995 and received my Bachelor's of Science of Nursing. I did go on to attain my Master's in Healthcare Administration at St. Francis. My career started at Mercy One, which is now Trinity, and I've been employed there for over 30 years. I started as a nurse on a med search floor, and then that floor closed, as I mentioned, ever-changing in healthcare, to make way for urology. I then moved into the NICU and worked weekend package nights. From there, I went into the pediatric emergency department and later became the manager. As a manager, my background in caring for others as a nurse developed in serving as a support system for other managers as well as nurses just like you. Relying on my experience as a nurse to connect, advocate, and ultimately be a central source for nurses and my other colleagues, 
I accepted my first CEO job at a critical access hospital. Later, I was fortunate enough to join Perry Dallas County Hospital, ultimately being a part of the everyday human experience as a person touched by DCH and working to advance our mission of high quality personalized care accessible to all. And that what makes being a leader to me is so important. I'm also proud to share that my husband is also a graduate of Mercy College and he serves as a house supervisor at Mercy One and he has been on nights ever since we've been married, which is over 30 years. My daughter also followed in our footsteps and she graduated from Mercy College and now works as a nurse for Mercy Iowa Heart Center as a cardiac quality control coordinator. Throughout my nursing career, I have considered myself a difference maker, and I would like each of you to consider yourself the same. A difference maker is an ordinary person who accomplishes extraordinary things by creating positive change in their community and in the lives of others. The skills you have developed are gifts, and they will change and improve people's health. Equally, developing yourself as a person of compassion and love among other characteristics that will be individual to you is what will change people's hearts and minds also. And this part is what will be most memorable to your patients. Work with intention and safeguard that responsibility. Also protect your mind and your heart and be your own biggest advocate. You will learn balance and with that you'll change the world, both at work and outside of it. Do and be the best you can. My advice is to invest as much time in determining who you are as you spend on what you do. Nurses enter patients' lives in the most valuable and occasionally incredible moments. Your heart will soar, it might break, and on many occasions, it will simply beat still while you calmly exist as your day unfolds and you help where you can. Human connection is a gift, and for some patients and families, you may be the only connection that they really have. Sometimes the connection doesn't always manifest how we plan or want it to, but unfolds how it's meant to be, and for a purpose we may not understand or see until later in our lives. I know each of you will make a difference and do great things, and believe me, we'll all be here cheering you on. Grateful that you have chosen to be our next generations of nurses. Thank you. Thank you, Angela, for those encouraging words. My name is Kristen Knoll. I'm assistant professor here at Mercy, and I will be reading the ASN names. My name is Suzanne Merrick, and I'm an assistant professor, and I'll be reading the BSN names. As Dr. Dior mentioned earlier, the penning ceremony for nurses has been incredibly important as the pen itself represents the time and effort put into learning the materials, working the clinicals, and servicing our community. Our future nurses will be wearing this pen near their hearts to always remember their time spent with us here at Mercy College, but also to remember why they have decided to become a nurse and to continue to uphold the servant's attitude for each patient that they encounter. We will be alternating reading the ASN and BSN names. During this time, each student will re be receiving the Mercy College official nursing pin, which will be pinned by our nursing administration or someone significant to the student. ASN students, as I call your name, please walk to the front of the cathedral near the table in front of me to receive your pin and exit down the center aisle. If you are having someone other than nursing administration pin you, please have that person with you to receive the pin and do the honors. BSN students, as I call your name, please walk to the front of the cathedral to the table, table in front of me to receive your pin and exit down the center aisle. If you're having someone other than nursing administration pin you, please have that person walk with you to receive the pin and do the honors. And we will begin. Kendra Bana. Shania Altaye Mays. 
Emily Bowler. Brooke Bailey. Amanda Kao. Diana Caven. Jasmine Cordona. McKenna Davis. Meg Conley. Esmeralda Diavila. Tina Flanders Berry. Mackenzie Finney. Denise Geppel. Lauren Gosh. Sarah Guild. Basma Hashim. Don Gull. Isabel McDaniel. Jessa Hicks. Magdalene McGee. Dana Huff. Courtney Isaacson. Jamie Moon. Wendy Kembley. Jacob Morgan. Katrina Kumit. Amy Leach. Andrew Narber. Terry Lopez. Rachel Noah. Asa Mann. Katie Fong. Shania Martin. Sydney Renfro. Abigail Menendez. Stephanie Roberts. Amanda Mondell. Adrian Robinson. Yeah. 
Mariah Osman. Calista Rither. Kennedy Schroeder. Emily Peterson. Maylee Sheely. Shelby Wilson. Ashley Tiedemann. Anna Wood. Kareen Yumatomi. Abby Wagner. Thank you, ASN and BSN students. Please, please join me in applause to congratulate our summer 2023 ASN and BSN cohorts on this accomplishment. Now please welcome Melissa Ballou to the stage for the reading of the Florence Nightingale Pledge. Thank you. My name is Melissa Ballou, Assistant Professor. I'm honored to lead you in the Florence Nightingale Pledge with you. In 1912, the Florence Nightingale Medal was established by the International Red Cross to reward nurses who have distinguished themselves in an exceptional manner by great devotion to their patients in time of war or peace. If you are a nurse, nursing faculty member, or nursing student, please stand and join me in reciting the Florence Nightingale Pledge. The pledge is printed for you in this evening's program. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in his or her works and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be 
and whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. Thank you. You may be seated. Please welcome now to the podium Alex McManus to present the DAISY Award nominees and winners. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alex McManus, and I am one of the nursing instructors here at the college. I am honored to be presenting the DAISY Award nominees and winners for the summer 2023. The DAISY Award is a special honor given to extraordinary nurses for the compassionate contributions they make every day, going above and beyond the expectations in science and sensitivity. The acronym DAISY stands for Diseases Attacking the Immune System. We are very proud to partner with DAISY as we have extraordinary nursing students and nursing faculty here at Mercy College of Health Sciences. Tonight, we are pleased to announce our Summer 2023 Student DAISY Award nominees. Nominees, when I call your names, please line up horizontally in front of the podium facing the audience. Each of you will be handed a DAISY Award nominee pin and DAISY Award thank you card to show representation on this outstanding achievement. So if the following students could please come up to receive their cards and then you will receive those up front here and line up um, horizontally. Meg Connolly. Asa Mann. Isabel McDaniel. And Jacob Morgan. Before announcing the winner, I will share the heartfelt comments made to describe the recipient. During preceptorship, this student has been at Mary Greeley in Birthways. This individual not only learned the technical skills needed during this preceptorship, but also excelled at the other side of labor and delivery, connecting with the families who are bringing a baby into the world. The preceptor rated this student as independent on nearly all of the skills on the evaluation form and the comments from family show that this individual really has what it takes to work in this setting and to be an integral part of the birth experience for our patients. This student has a real passion for OB nursing and will be a great asset, asset to whomever team they join. Please join me in applause to congratulate Aza Mann as the Summer 2023 Nursing Student Aza Award winner. Thank you, DAISY Award nominees and winners. You may be seated. Congratulations, nursing students and faculty on receiving such prestigious awards. Now please welcome Dr. Wessel for the closing. Well, good evening again. I want to take this opportunity to one more time recognize our students. So I'd like to ask our students to rise and please turn and face your family and guests. Congratulations. I hope you remember this. It's not often you get a standing ovation, <laughs> but you just got one, and it's well deserved. I'd also like to take an opportunity to recognize the Mercy College nursing faculty and staff and ask each of them to please rise.
thank you all. As you all know, these people are very important um, in your journey, and they have played a very uh, exciting part in your success that has led to today, and we're very, very excited for you moving forward. I'd also like to recognize uh, President Henry and the Mercy College Cabinet. Please rise. These are the folks that get us the big bucks so we can afford to uh, give you lots of opportunities um, both in and outside of the campus. And I'd also like to ask our Mercy College board members that may be present to rise. Thank you so much to all of you. We are so excited for the journey that's ahead. Um, as faculty, as nurses, we know that this is a very exciting time, but this is just the beginning of a very brand new chapter in your lives. And we look forward to hearing from you about your successes as you move forward. Good luck to you all. Thank you again for everyone. Have a good evening. May we ask that everyone conjugates outside so we can take pictures and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. We're just preparing for the other ceremony.